Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can back up and share your content using the Smart Gallery. You can now back up your content as well as use subfolders and tags for better organization. This is super useful when changing your PC or collaborating with a group. Let's start off by exporting this entire custom fashion girl pack with the purpose of transferring it to another computer. To start, we'll go to the main custom folder where we can right click on the pack and then select export data. Here you have the option to choose whether you want to export the metadata only, which includes things like the tags and pack info, or if you want to export everything, including all of the custom files. Please be aware here that external files are not supported. If you want to learn more details about this, please click on the how to link. For now, we'll export to a new folder called content backup. Once the export is finished, we can see that everything was added to a subfolder based on the pack name. This folder will include all of the custom content as well as all of the metadata. Once we've transferred that folder to the new computer, we can go up to our menu dropdown and select the import data command. From there, we'll make sure that we import everything including the metadata and have our CC3 custom folder selected and then go ahead and import by selecting the custom folder we just exported. Once it's finished, we can browse all of the subfolders and tags in the pack to ensure that everything is in order. You can see that everything is organized in the same way that we exported it. I can load up the iProject file to see the character all decked out in her fashion gear. In addition to single pack exports, you can also export multiple packs at once or even your entire custom folder. To do this, simply hold Ctrl to multi-select the packs that you want to export, then right click and export as normal. To export an entire custom folder, just go up to export data from the main drop-down menu. That's about it for this quick video guys. Make sure to check out our other Smart Gallery tutorials for more useful features like this.